Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what you've all been waiting for. It is time to try out the Articat Catalyst 600 ZR RXC. So this is Jason's sled. He got it from Aberfoil. This is the sled that you saw us review in the in the Mike's garage earlier this season. But we haven't had a chance to ride it, so now's the opportunity. So first off, one of my first impressions that I can give you is the fact that the seat on this sled is a little bit wider than I would have thought, but it uh, it's like slightly stiff, but at the uh, firm, but at the same time, you can feel that like if there's a bump, you do compress the seat. So I actually like the seat; it's quite supportive. Uh, super narrow up front, so my knees are kind of in the middle. They're not against anything, which is nice. Um, so I just gotta cross the highway here. The other thing I will tell you is uh, the seating position in general. Again, these are just my initial impressions, right? Like I just got on the sled a second ago. You, what you guys are seeing is the first time I've ever been on this sled. And just sitting on it, super comfortable. I find it's very similar um, to what we saw with the backcountry and what we felt with the backcountry that you're kind of sitting a little bit higher. That's what I feel like on the catalyst here. Um, so I like that a lot. In terms of the engine, this thing is an animal. It does not feel like a 600, even remotely. Riding this thing, and earlier, I'll throw some footage in, I was racing Jason, and Jason on, on this sled versus me on my A50, either he passed me or I passed him, so we'll call it a tie, but neither of us, uh, like neither sled was really that much faster than the other. So that's crazy when you're comparing a 600 two-stroke to an 850. So this sled definitely is super impressive. Riding it and getting on the throttle, it feels like an 800cc sled. There's lots of power. Obviously, at the top end is where you're gonna notice it the most, but in most trail riding, honestly, I don't think I would notice a difference between uh, this sled and my 850. In the, like the average type of trail riding you're doing and going slowing down speeding up I wouldn't notice it at all now the other thing I will say is this sled sounds like mean listen to it let's slow down here listen to this thing it just sounds unreal and I like that a lot compared to other sleds. This motor sounds probably, it's probably the best sounding two-stroke motor, I think. Now, okay, what else can I talk about here? In terms of front-end handling, just coming around the corners here, first impressions. Obviously, I know from Jason this has stock carbides. Um, it handles quite well. I would say uh, it, it's kind of, like, it, you point it and it goes, there's a little bit of push, but if you lean into the turn, it, that kind of eliminates it. And I think what Jason has a set of uh, six inch triple points that he'll throw on the sled, and I think that will cure his issue entirely. Um, if I'm thinking between like Polaris, Skidoo, and, and Articat two strokes, regardless of motor, because that's irrelevant, the front end handling of the Polaris is the best out of the box. The skidoo is the worst out of the box. I have to do a lot of, uh, me and Mike have to do a lot of tweaking to our sleds to get them to handle the way we want them, the front end. Uh, but this sled right here is definitely a close second. I, from what I know, Jason hasn't done basically anything to the front end of this sled at all. And it handles really, really well. I notice he has the sled set up stiff. That's just how he likes the sled and that's okay. But overall, it's just comfortable. I like the seating position. I like the engine noise. I like the power. Uh, doesn't have much transfer, but that might just be because it's kind of hard packed today, so can't really tell you much about that. Um, but the motor sounds fantastic. It pulls super strong. 
definitely stronger than the Skidoo 600. I assume the Polaris 650 is probably stronger, but I haven't myself ridden one, so I'm not going to comment on that. But it's just an overall, all around, fantastic sled. Wow, I didn't think I would like it this much. And I'm just absolutely cooking here. Wow, it just keeps going. <laughs> And side note, the trails are absolutely mint. Woo! Wow. Wow. Just gonna come to a stop here. See how hard it is off trail. Yeah, it doesn't really transfer. So that's interesting, but again, this is a trail sled, so that makes sense. Jason has his link bag set up there with the Whiteout Technologies um, bracket. I can't comment too much on the rear suspension just because there's no bumps, so it's kind of hard to comment on that. The front end, the couple times I was able to get the front end up, it did handle nicely, like uh, the suspension was nice and stiff which is no surprise because it has the Fox QS3s. <laughs> He's got our Sled Addicts permit holder on there. That's a necessity. It's just a beautiful sled. Unfortunately, there is no storage on this sled. That's the biggest thing. You got this, and I don't even know. Yeah, that, that's about it. He had to add this bag and add his other bags. So there's no storage there. He's going to add the Garmin G8 display next year. But yeah, overall, really nice looking sled. He's got... Uh, Quali pieces uh, scratchers on there just to help him stay cool. He studded up to the nines over there. Yeah, really, really impressive sled. So happy I was able to get the chance to ride it and I'll probably put some more kilometers on it over the next couple days. Oh, there's my sled. <laughs>